Ferry City on the edge of their own box. McElhenney way back on the edge of his own box, plays a lovely ball forward towards Michael Duffy, the man making a welcome return from injury tonight, Duffy took that one down beautifully, lays it back to McElhenney, he's got Dara Markey snapping at his heels and he plays it to Duffy again just in the uh, corner of the box and a little, lovely little one-two, Duffy gets the return and he's inside here and he's played across the face of the goal and McCabe gets down well, he got a straight boot there from McIntundi who was well entitled to go for the ball but a lovely little bit of interplay on the edge of the box there from Derry City and almost opening things up Alan. Yeah, that's it. Listen, draw the defender. They got numbers in the box, defended it well, and I think it's going to be a bit like that tonight. Um, so good shape. I'd imagine Kevin has given them that instruction uh, to be really, really tight and compact. Here's another look at that. Lovely little bit of play. It actually ricocheted back off Darren Nugent, I think, and then Duffy just rolled it across the face of the goal. I can turn the through his uh, left footed, I think, and it just... He just caught Colin McCabe slightly, but McCabe is OK. Tracking back from Dylan Grimes winning the ball back and himself and Gary Deegan tidy things up and now it's with Andrew Quinn lovely little drag back from Andrew Quinn he's been such a revelation this season Andrew Quinn but they've been giving it away it's Georgie Pointing giving it straight to Patching that's a great save by Colin McCabe and Georgie Pointing he uh, got caught in possession last week for the opening goal against Shelburne and he gave that ball away really sloppily and good really good save from Colin McCabe because again it would have put a fair deal of money Allen on it, and Patching sticking that one yeah, away. Yeah, and Georgie Point, was, he wasn't under any great deal of pressure at all. Here's Diallo, just beyond the centre circle in his own half of the field, steps beyond Gary Deegan and does really well, but then loses his footing. That was enough for a moment anyway to lose it, but he wins it back straight away. Second Hyundai, in fact. Here's Diallo, over towards that far side, towards Dumigan, and Weir closes him down and well, it's lost and now Evan Weir and it's in towards Akintunde spins gets a shot away and it's in the far oh. corner great finish from Akintunde Evan Weir will be disappointed with that one he looked like he'd won it back gave it away again but what a finish from James Akintunde back in the team tonight and getting his sixth goal of the season and a really good finish Alan Dylan Grimes no goals to his name so far and a draw to shirt could this be the time he breaks his duck? It's going to be Williams to hit it instead. Williams cracks one and it's smart and bats it away. Just put his foot through that one. It was arrowing not quite towards the top corner, but not a million miles away from it. And uh, sometimes, Alan, you just have to go for power. And that's yeah, what it's a did great there. effort and a great decision from, from the player as well. You know, it's just off centre and he goes for power. Great strike, great save. Takes it on. I suspect it might be Dale Rooney to hit this one with that left foot of his. Mar is mining the right-hand side of his goal. The wall is covering the other side. Up comes Rooney, gets it over the wall. It's oh, the top corner. what a great goal. What, what a, a great goal. goal. Absolutely stupendous effort from Dale Rooney. He was talking before the game last week how he wasn't happy with his goals return this season. He got a spectacular goal last week against his old side, Shelburne. And he's topped that one here today. Posted stamp stuff into the top corner, Alan. That's a great finish. To be fair, if there's any one place you want to put the ball, it's in there, top corner. Uh, keeper had no chance, to be fair. And we've seen him dive in there at the last minute. Here we go again. Like, there's five in the wall. This was kicked against the Derry City's pl hand, player's hand more than anything else. A long ball forward, and Williams is in behind. Is the flag going to go up? No, it stays down. Great touch from Williams. He's got support from Markey in that far corner in front of the Derry City supporters. Markey's got the aloe in front of him. Plays it across, and a lovely little layoff from Dean Williams, or by Dylan Grimes, rather, to Dean Williams. Draw to still have it. Markey gets to the byline, gets the cross in, across the face of the goal, and up goes... It was Rooney who was in there. I think Mark Connolly was the one that got his head in it. Fired back in by Evan Weir. He gets another cross in. It's batted away by... By Maher! And it's come back off the post! Oh, my goodness. Absolutely extraordinary scenes here. Dale Rooney swung at it with his right foot, as he did last week. This time, it was arrowing towards that far corner. Came back off the post into play. Maher blocked one away prior to that. Drada trying to put a bit of pressure on it the wrong. Well, what a passage to play that was. Surely the last attack of the game here. We've gone beyond... Three minutes added on. It's up towards the edge of the box. Cowan gets up and gets his head to it. And, and there it. goes the full-time whistle. A really good point for Draw United. Dean Williams drops to the ground, exhausted, no doubt. And Mark Connolly comes down and shakes the hand of Dara Markey. And he uh, also goes over to congratulate her to uh, exchange a few words with 